Once a historic estate on Long Island's South Shore, it is now a regular target of vandals. And as CBS 2's Caroline Gussoff reports, fed up neighbors are pleading with a property owner to do something about it. They spend days and nights patrolling the now shuttered Dowling College campus. They're not paid security, they're resident volunteers fed up with what's become a playground for vandals. Just last Sunday, as an example, we had at least six separate multi people groups trying to kick in or use a tool. They had a brick in their hand. Um, you, as you've seen, they've busted every window they can bust. Apparently, no reason people just feel that they have to break things. Just go around, shoot off fire extinguishers, smash bookcases. At the center of 25 acres, a waterfront mansion built by William Vanderbilt in 1901. After Dowling College went belly up seven years ago, vandals have stolen or wrecked much of it. The latest insult an arrested teen admitted he was inspired by a TikTok challenge targeting historic buildings. Watch me rip this molding off the wall. It's horrendous and uh, the community is appalled. And angry at the private owner of the property, the multi-billion dollar China-based Mercury International. Residents have had to pay to install a dozen hidden security cameras, which recently captured images of alleged vandals. We maintain them. Uh, we operate them. They've led to five arrests in two weeks. Progress since we first told you about their plight two years ago. Suffolk police now regularly patrol. Suffolk PD has been phenomenal. Like you said, the town of ISAP has been working with us. We want Mercury to be a good neighbor. That's what I, I don't think we're asking for much. Why did you buy this? If you can't maintain it, sell it to someone who will. The company's property manager told me he's working with police and is encouraged by recent arrests. He wouldn't share anything about future plans for the property, but added they're doing their best considering the economics of the situation, but wouldn't elaborate. Residents say if this is their best, they need to do better. In Oakdale, Long Island, Carolyn Gussoff, CBS 2 News.